What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a top tier Terrapagos team for ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Terrapagos, I've been seeing this little turtle all over the rank ladder and this team, especially on the rank ladder. This team is phenomenal, featuring fake out users, big time meta Pokemon, and like we already mentioned, our boy Terrapagos. Now, Terrapagos rocking the Terror Shift ability alongside with the leftovers, and it has a pretty standard moveset of Terror, Starstorm, Earth, Power, and Combine. Now, when it comes to Terrapagos, all of them pretty much play the same. You want to get that Pokemon out there, you want to set up a Combine, and then you pretty much just want to spam Terror, Starstorm. That's pretty much it. That, that's how you play Terrapagos. So, we're going to be trying that out today, showcasing this amazing team. But like I mentioned, we got fake out users on today's team. We got Incineroar and Rillaboom. I don't want to talk about them too much. But these Pokemon are taking over the meta. I shouldn't say taking over the meta. They are just still here. They are still here. Almost every single team, or I should say top tier team, features both Rillaboom and Incineroar. They're just so good. You get terrain control, you get fake outs, you get attack drops. You really can't go wrong with both of them. Our final three Pokemon on today's team is going to be Ogre Pond, Urshfu, and Fluttermane. Ogre Pond with the Fire Hearth Flame Mask is going to be solid for physical attacking. Same thing with Urshfu with that Unseen Fist ability. And Fluttermane, great on that special attacking side. And in this instance, this one has Taunt, Speed Control with Icy Wind, and then Moon Blast for a nice big time special attacking shot. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this top tier Terrapagos team. First match is on its way, and we are going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex tricking team. Now, when it comes to Ice Rider Calyrex, this Pokemon is arguably the strongest restricted Pokemon in Regulation G. So we gotta watch out for that. But one thing that I could lead could just be Fluttermane. I love Fluttermane here. The Trick Room Setter is going to be for Rigorath, and we can actually taunt for Rigorath because this is not a first turn priority taunt. Usually people are using taunt with uh Tornadus, which becomes first turn priority from Prankster, but I believe we could just go into you, set up the taunt, kind of get after it that way. I don't mind that. I like that a lot. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. We're going to go into Fluttermane. We're going to go into Terrapagos, try to set that Pokemon up, and then from here, we can go into Incineroar. I do like Incineroar here. I'm going to go into Incineroar, and last but not least, probably Hearth Flame Ogre Pond. Yeah. I kind of want to go into Urshfu, but if they set the sun and just negate a lot of our damage, it's really not going to be worth it. So I am going to end up going into the Ogre Pond. I like it. I like this. But yeah, going to look at Taunt, the Trick Room user, right off the rip here. I believe they're going to probably lead, like, my Shao and Furigraph, just to try to fake out and get off that uh, Trick Room at the same time. So I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that, because I would just protect Trap, goes turn one, go for that Taunt, and then just start setting up Combines from there. I think I like that the best. I think I like that the best. So, out comes my Shao and Glacier. That's totally fine. So, we're going to end up taunting the Glacier. We're going to try to set up Calm Mind. I mean, you can go for a fake out into my boy. Actually, I think I'd rather protect just to keep my Terra Shell. I think it's a little bit better in our interest. And yeah, I think that's a lot better. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do here. We got to watch out for the Y Guards too from my Shao. So, we might just want to start attacking that. We might just want to start attacking that. But first and foremost, like I said, got to taunt. We have to taunt this guy. We have to taunt him. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to protect. Because the fake out is pretty obvious. They want to knock off my Terra Shell. They want to fake out. They want to make me flinch. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. As much as I would love to set up a combine, it's just a simple play just to protect this trap goes here. So we protect. Glacier protects. What's going on here? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's your play here? What, what are you doing? This is getting kind of weird now. You're going for a close combat. Okay. You're going for a close combat. So right now I still have Terra Shell. Um, I might just want to double down in my shell. But I'm going to stick with the taunts here. I'm going to go for taunt. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to go with combat. I have Terra Shell. So I'm cool if you go for a close combat this turn. We can lower your defense. Kind of just go from there. So I'm going to go for the combat here. We're going to stick with the taunt. It's an odd turn right there. That's an odd turn, but I understand. They just want to close combat. They want to get off some big-time damage on the Terrapagos. Definitely very understandable. But I'm super surprised they just not pop in Trick Room turn one. Right. But now comes the Terror type. They're going to go straight into Calyrex, going into a Fire Terror type, which is not a big deal. I mean, if I can pull off a Combine, Terror Star Storm could do some big-time damage on that, which we love. So Taunt's going to fly here. We're going to stick with it. We're not dealing with Trick Room. And from here, he's going to end up coaching. So he's coaching up. He wants some damage. 
he wants some damage. We did get off the taunt, which is beautiful. Um, and I'm gonna set up this Calm Mind boost. They're cool. Calm Mind is boosted. And he's gonna go for a Glacial Lance. I'm gonna Terra Shell. Should be able to soak it pretty well. I mean, attack drop's gonna be a little scary here. But I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm gonna get some leftovers. And actually, Fluttermane dies out here. Fluttermane dies out here. And he's gonna chill in Nebu. So we are pretty much forced to just bring out Incineroar here. And probably just fake out that slot and then just start throwing Terra Star Storms. But I do like Incineroar just to. You know, get after it that way. But I am probably just gonna read the protect from Glacier. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just gonna read the protect from Glacier and get rid of this my shell. I think that's definitely in our best interest. Oh, you are clear amulet though. But yeah, I I, I really do think you are going to protect Glacier here. So I'm just gonna terrasize just go Terra Star Storm. I'm gonna fake out the my shell. You are so protecting this Calyrex. No doubt in my mind you're protecting this Calyrex. This Calyrex standing here, it's gonna put up a shield. It wants to block this fake out. Not dealing with it. I'm just not even gonna, I'm, just, I'm not even phased by it because I know it's gonna happen. It ends up withdrawing my. What is going on? Dude, this opponent's playing so weird here. And he going into. You're gonna go into Frigoraf here. Yes, yeah, so if Frigoraf comes out here. This is tough news. This is tough news here. I do outspeed, which is good. And I'm hoping Terra Star Storm might be able to KO because it is gonna be super effective onto that, uh, onto that Calyrex. So if I can just KO here, this could be a big time for us. The smart play for him is just a swap, but I feel like our opponent's playing so weird right now. So Armor Tail is going to come out here. It's going to stop her fake outs. Terra Star Storm is going to fly. We're ready to roll with it. How much damage is this doing on the Calyrex? Enough? A decent amount? KO in it? Of course it doesn't. Not enough. High horsepower, we're going to fire. And you're leaving my Trap Ghost on the field, which we love. I don't mind this. You're leaving my Trap Ghost on the field. This is fine by me. He's going to chilling a boost up. You could have ally switch, but I'm just going to Terra Star Storm the KO. And my Pokemon just outspeeds you. The Terrapicos, you're just leaving it on the field too long. And that's the problem with Terrapicos. You have to get rid of this Pokemon, or it's just going to sit on the field and just win win the match, right? It's just going to win the match. So our opponent's actually playing pretty good, but just not up against a Terrapicos, right? So from here, we have uh, Terrapicos and my boy Ogre Pond, and I could just drop an Ivy Cudgel into that slot, and I could just Terra Star Storm again. It's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple play. And once they bring out the Fake Out user, we could just protect. But these are both their Trick Room setters. And both their Trick Room setters, if they stay on the field, they're dead here. So he ends up withdrawing. He's gonna go into my shell potentially. The best play for him would just be to like protect for graph here and then fake out next turn. Which they might be doing. No, they're not. Okay, so yeah, now you're just dead. Now you're just dead. Now you're just now your free grab is just dead. Even with the Barry. Terra Star Storm's gonna be able to finish this off. You have fake out ready to go. And in my best interest, we are just going to actually. This could be tough. Because what I'm thinking is gonna happen here is oh, we bring you down to one HP. We bring you down to one. But what I'm thinking is gonna happen here is he's gonna fake out a user and bring back out Calyrex to try to pop the trick room. Which is definitely in their best interest. It's by far in their best interest. But we really want to just try to KO the Calyrex. If they bring it back out. If they don't bring out Calyrex, we're just going to go into double protect here. Yeah, well, yeah, this is just a simple double protect. Cool. Alright, that's fine. So now we're just going to sit here. We are just going to throw a nice little double protect. Spiky shield. Nice little protect. Get back HP with Trap Ghost. And kind of just go from there. But yeah, they can't really do much. I'm trying to think of what they can do here with both of these guys. And most likely, it's just like a fake out eruption. So yeah, double protect is just simple. It's just a simple, easy play for us. Yeah, because I thought they were going to go back into Calyrex and then fake out and try to pop Trick Room. That's really what I thought they were doing, but they're not. So it's just, again, a double protect. Easy enough. Fake out's going to fly. We're going to block it. And Heat Wave's going to fly, and we're going to block it. Cool. All right. So our next play is just a Terra Star Storm, obviously. Or I could go into an Earth Power. I could go into an Earth Power. And as much as I want to go into an Earth Power, I think we have to go into a Terra Star Storm just to double down and get rid of the My Shell on the left side. And then just go into an Ivy Cudgel, even though it's not very effective. It's still in our best interest. I'm fine with this. 
So wide guard comes out here. Oh, I said this earlier. I said we have to watch out for wide guard. I even said that. I said that. We should have went for Earth Power, man. I mean, we're still doing some nice damage here. He's going to go for a what? What are you going for? Wide guard really coming in hot. I said that earlier. I said, yo, we got to watch out for wide guard. And Heat Wave's now going to fly in. My Pokemon Soak, which is nice. And I think from here, we just go into an Earth Power, right? His Earth Power should KO. Now let's go into an Ivy Cudgel. So yeah, we're just going to go for an Earth Power. We're going to look to finish off the Torkoal. We might even protect here. He ends up with Thrall in my shell. That's fine. And that might be a double kill. This Ivy Cudgel might be able to finish off Glacier here. Let's see. Let's see. No protect from Turkel? We're really hoping. Really hoping no protect from Turtle. And no, there's no protect from Turtle. So Ivy Cudgel gonna fly here. Bop. Get that thing on out of here. See you later, Glacier. And Turkel's gonna die out to this Earth Power. So honestly, our opponent played really well here. It's just when playing up against Terrapagos, you have to just target this thing now. Because again, it's just gonna stay on the field for hours and days at a time. And it's just gonna just pester you and just KO every single time, especially after a combine boost. This thing is just ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. So we end up just picking up the easy double kill. My shell sitting at 1 HP. We can just spam moves. And that's gonna be game set match. That is gonna be game set match. Trap Ghost, Terry the Trap Ghost, getting after it, match number one. Absolutely dominating on the rank ladder. But out comes this little Pokemon. And from here, we're just gonna rip another Ivy Cudgel. And we're just going to a Terra Star Storm. If you wide guard, you wide guard, it's whatever. But they're just going to cancel the battle. So, 1 0 to get things started. Let's go hop to our second. Moving on to our second match. And we're going up against Mir Rhydon this time. We're sitting 1 0. Terrapagos was getting after it. But they have Incineroar. They got Tornadus. They got Wellspring Ogre Pond. Furthermore, they got Frigraph, who, that, who I don't think they're going to bring. It seems like Frigraph's kind of just there to stop first turn priority and to like stop Trick Room or even set up Trick Room. But I feel like they're not setting up Trick Room. But the most important Pokemon they have is going to be Miraidon. They're going to have Miraidon with their Hadron Energy or Hadron Engine, whatever it's called, to set that electric terrain and give that thing a boost. So we're going to have to bring our terrain setter, Rillaboom, in today's matchup or this battle's matchup. But from here, I think we could potentially just lead Rillaboom. I mean, Rillaboom could be a nice little lead just so we can fake out and get after it that way and maybe set up a Calm Mind because they do have a lot of special attackers. And a Calm Mind would do us justice. It would do us justice. So you know what? We're going to go into both of these guys. Rollaboom, Terrapagos, nice little lead for us in the back end. We could go Urshfu. I do like Urshfu, especially without the choice ban. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But I had to watch out for Wellspring Ogre Pond, which is a slight little issue. But I do like this Pokemon, so I am going to end up going into Urshfu. So Urshfu is going to be our third Pokemon. And then final Pokemon, it's looking like it's going to be Fluttermane here with Booster Energy Speed. Just works so well. Just in case we need that, that little speed boost. Because they do have Tailwind. Icy Wind could definitely come in clutch, especially with like, what was it? 200 plus speed and booster energy on top of that. This thing is going to be zooming. It's going to be zooming. But we're 1 0. Let's look to go 2 0. Guarantee yourselves a winning record. But this one's going to be tough, I feel like. I feel like me ride on or me ride on teams are just very strong all around. And they're going to end up leading in Cinemore and. And, uh, Ferrigraph. Okay, so they can fake me out. I can't. I can't fake them out. That's, that's fine. Plus, on top of that, they're going to intimidate. But it is good to know that my Roll Boom does outspeed the Incineroar. And the reason I know that is because my ability came out first. So from, from here, they could pop a Trick Room. I mean, most likely, they are just going to fake me out. So maybe I should protect here. I mean, I kind of just want to calm mindset up. But from here, I kind of wish we had U-Turn because I would just U-Turn Pivot. But I might just go into Fluttermane here. We go into Urshfu. Could go into Urshfu here. Yeah, I'm gonna swap into Urshfu, but I am gonna try to pull off a combine. Nice, lovely combine. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into Urshfu. Actually, maybe should I just slam a Woodhammer? I'm just gonna slam a Woodhammer here. You go for Flare Blitz. You go for Flare Blitz. He's gonna go for Fake Out here. That's fine. So we're going to Terra Shell. Yeah, I'm going to slam a wood hammer into the free graph. Smart play on our end. Because so I, I was thinking, I was just like, you're probably not going for a Flare Blitz. You're probably most likely just faking out. So I, I might be able to get off a juicy wood hammer here. Which I do. Not bad damage. Especially on free graph. Pretty bulky Pokemon. So there's that. Foul play is going to fly through here. I am, I am intimidated, so this is pretty good for me. 
but he is gonna go for a knockoff. We already know that Incineroar is gonna knock off my leftovers. But now's the time to potentially just like protect you and hard swap you into Urshifu. Yeah, I like this. We're gonna stall out this combine setup. We're gonna stall this one out. Because I really want my leftovers. I feel like Terrapagos really thrives out with leftovers. Plus, I can swap Rollboom and save terrain for later. We know that they definitely have me right the back end. It's a restricted format. I feel like you have to bring in your restricted Pokemon. If not, you're just like at a disadvantage. So we'll swap Rillaboom into Urshfu this turn. Um, they could have Wellspring Ogre Pond in the back end. I'm actually surprised they brought Furry Graph. But it's working. It's working well. So there's our hard swap into Urshifu. And I'm just going to protect Trapkos. Because again, I believe they're going for a knockoff into this slot. That's fine if they go for Flare Blitz. And yeah, there's a knockoff. So just trying to get rid of my leftovers, I protect. And I pretty much get a free swap, right? Hopefully you double down on Trapkos. And you're just going to stick with a foul point in the slot, which is okay. Not very effective there. Beautiful. So I'll get back some HP. I can now go for Surging Strikes if I want to. But I think in our best interest, we go for Calm Mind and we go for Close Combat. And the reason I say we go for Close Combat is because if they do actually have a Wellspring Ogre Pond, they're going to swap and send for it right here. So instead of giving them Water Absorb, we can still deal some damage. So we're going for Close Combat. As much as I would love to go for Surging Strikes, it's just better. And yep, there's the withdrawal. So he's going to withdraw here. Chances are he's going to go into Ogre Pond. Yep, there it is. Good read on our end. And close combat. Still going to do a nice amount of damage. About half. We love it. We love it. Our defense is dropping, which kind of sucks. But I get Calm Mind. I get Calm Mind. So this is what I originally wanted to do with Trap Ghost. Get this Pokemon set up. Took us a little bit this time, but... I like it. We get that special defense boost. We get that special attack boost. That play's going to fly here and do a little bit more damage this time. So cool. We're going to get best back some HP. I could go for another combine here if I want to. But I think now is just the time to, to terrestrialize. Get rid of this terrain here. And just go, right? I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Do I protect you? Or do I just stay attacking? I could hard swap into a different Pokemon. But you could have Grassy Glide. I doubt you have Grassy Glide. But I think swapping back into Rollboom might be in our best interest. Yeah. I'm going to swap back into Rollboom here. Swapping right back into Rollboom. So I love where we're sitting with, uh, with Terrapagos here. I mean, we have Grassy Terrain chilling here. We have Leftover. So we're getting a constant stream of HP back. He's going to end up withdrawing. Probably go back into Incineroar, correct? Wouldn't be surprised if you go back into Incineroar. Yeah, you're going to go right back into Incineroar, which is fine. I mean, you intimidate my Rillaboom. But that was just more so as a precautionary thing for Urshifu. Because right now, our trap goes is plus one on special attack, plus one on special defense. This is going to be the Pokemon that's gonna be just going to be chunking up damage and pestering. And that's what it does. So, if I could just keep this Pokemon on the field, allow this thing to do, just do ridiculous damage, we're going to be thriving here. I'm going to get rid of the grassy terrain, which kind of sucks that I do that, but... I'll eventually probably just swap Rillaboom next turn and kind of go from there. So Terra Star Storm flies. Gonna chip up some nice damage onto these guys. Not too bad. And this thing is gonna eat up a berry. So we're hoping another Terra Star Storm could KO, but I don't think it can. It's gonna be cutting it closer. It's gonna be cutting it close with Frigraph, who finally pops Trick Room. So Frigraph goes for the Trick Room. No big deal. And he's gonna fake out my Trap Ghost, correct? I would think you would fake out Trap Ghost here. I mean, if you fake out Trap Ghost, that's fine. I'm still going to go for Terra Star Storm, and I'm going to go for High Horsepower. So, I know minus one, but still, I, I would like to chuck up some damage onto this Pokemon. I can swap Rillaboom next turn. So we know three of their Pokemon. I mean, chances are the fourth one is going to be Miraidon. So they have Incineroar, Vrigoraph, Ogre Pond, and if I had to guess, it's going to be Miraidon. So they're playing this one good so far. He's going to end up with Shaw and Vrigoraph, and they're going to go into... Who, Ogre Pond? They're going back in Ogre Pond finally. Yep, back in Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond comes in here and he ends up going for a U-turn. Thinking I'm going to protect here. Thinking I'm going to protect, which is not happening. I'm just throwing Terra Star Storms out here. I'm throwing Terra Star Storms. And it's kind of crazy that you have U-turn Incineroar over Parting Shot. Parting Shot's just better. So they go in back into Frigoraph in this slot. Now High Horse Power flies here. And Terra Star Storm should finish him off. Beautiful. Beautiful. And can it finish off the Ogre Pond too? A little double KO? That'd be nice. 
all day. All day to Rapagos. Yo, this Pokemon is insanely strong. It's absurd. It's absurd. So now they have Incineroar. They probably have Miraidon. Um, I have to swap my Rillaboom here. I have to swap my Rillaboom here. And this would be a time I just protect Rapagos. It's a good thing I didn't protect last turn. Because now I can protect it this turn. And yep, there's the Miraidon. Miraidon coming out here. So we're just going to sacrifice a Pokemon. Let's be honest here. We're just going to sacrifice Pokemon just so they don't have terrain. And who do I sacrifice here? I think I have to sacrifice uh, Urshifu. The reason I say Urshifu is because Fluttermane after Trickroom ends is going to be so valuable. It really is. With three turns left in Trickroom, it's just going to be too valuable. So from here, I'm going to swap straight into Urshifu. And I'm just going to sacrifice it. And then once that thing dies out, we're going to bring back out Rollaboom, take away terrain. And then go from there. And if it doesn't die out this turn, then we'll just... We'll just hard swap it. And we'll keep our Urshifu. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. But yeah, all I kind of want to do is just waste out these Trickroom turns. Because once my... Once my girl Fluttermain comes back here, we can we can pretty much get after it. But another thing Terrapicos does really well is... It forces opponents not to Terrastalize. And the reason I say that is because Terra Star Storm is super effective up against any Pokemon that is Terrastalized. So, with this Pokemon on the field, people are like, yo, I really don't want to Terrastalize. Which makes sense. Which makes sense, but there's our nice little sacrifice of the Urshifu. I can bring out Rillaboom. I can fake out this turn, which is great, and waste out another turn of Trick Room. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The terrain is finally ours. Yeah, we play this one so well. We play this one so well. Considering they kind of tried to counter our Trap Ghost early on, allowing it not to set up Combine. But we kind of tweaked it, we worked around it, and then we finally just got after this match. But from here, I honestly should just Earth Power one of these Pokemon. And I'm just going to Earth Power this Incineroar. And I'm going to fake out the, uh, the Miraidon. Because in some Incineroar's Rock Ghost Terror types, but Miraidon, for the most part, is just rocking like a Fairy Terror type. The Earth Power flies, he's just going to go for a Flare Blitz. We fake out Flinch. That's totally fine. Earth Power should be able to KO this Incineroar, especially after that recoil damage right there. And, oh, we get the Terror Boost on it as well, considering this is our first time using it. Yep, get on out of here. So we pick up the KO onto that. We are now going to go for Terra Star Storm. Because if they want to Terrasalize, I don't think they use Terra yet. But since they want to Terrasalize... Or if they want to Thrasalize, it's going to be super effective. And if they don't Thrasalize, Moonblast is just going to be super effective. The outcomes, our booster energy, our speed is getting after it. And there might still be one turn left in Trick Room, right? Is there one? Yeah, so, I mean, let's just double Protect waste this out. Protect. Protect. Cool. So double Protect in a fly here. I mean, Miraidon probably outspeeds Therapagos, but it doesn't outspeed this Flutterman. It does not outspeed this Flutterman. So we're just going to double protect, waste out this last turn Trick Room, and this game is pretty much ours, right? It's pretty much ours. And I was just going to attack with the Trap Ghost, but I didn't want to make a hard read here. Especially this late into the game where we have the upper hand. We just got to play it simple. There's no point in making a hard read. But from here, we're just going to go for Terra Star Storm in case they Terrasalize, because let me just make sure. Yeah, they haven't Terrasalized yet. They haven't Terrasalized, so we'll do that. And then on top of that, we will just go for a Moon Blast. Nice, lovely Moon Blast. So either way... Yep, there's the Terra. Terra Star Storm is now going to be super effective onto that. And plus, my Trap Ghost is at full HP. There's no shot in KO. There's no shot. Oh, maybe actually with Electric? Electric Terra? I don't think so. I don't think you're KO my Trap Ghost in one shot. I really don't. The Moon Blast flies here. It does a decent amount of damage. And Electric Drift coming out here, which might just attack the Flutter. Yeah, okay. So Trap Ghost is going to be able to finish this one off. You're going to KO my Flutter main. No big deal. No big deal. But my trap goes sitting here at full HP. Like I said, this thing is a problem. You cannot let it sit on the field and set up its combos. The Terra Star Storm finally flies out here. That's going to be game, set, match. We're going to be sitting 2-0. Oh. Be right on. Get on out my face. It's time for our final match. We are sitting 2-0. Oh. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record, but I would love to go 3-0. With my boy Terry the Trap Ghost. This thing is killing it in rank regulation G. Let's see if we can go 3 0. But we're going up against a Groudon Sun team. Our only way of weather control would be Trap Ghost Trasalize. That will just get rid of the sun for that turn. 
and that's our only way of doing it. But I don't mind that. I definitely want to bring it in trap because they have two fake out users just like us. And honestly, I might just leave Incineroar. Right? Incineroar is going to be great. You're probably clear amulet with Groudon. We do also have a trick room side of things when it comes to um, Arachnid and P2. Okay. So a lot of fake out users. A lot of fake out users in this battle, but I'm gonna go into Incineroar. I am gonna end up going Trap Ghost. I just really like that combo. And then furthermore, I mean, Ogre Pond could be great. Urshu can be okay. I'm gonna go Ogre Pond and I'm gonna go Fluttermane here. That is my play. We love it. We love it. So I definitely wanted to go Urshu, but the only problem is the Sun, right? The Sun negating a lot of the damage. We just can't be can't be dealing with that. So I'd rather just go Fluttermane. Fluttermane's always good you can't go wrong with Fluttermane especially with the booster energy it is just flying it is flying but let's see what they do here for turn one I think Groudon and a fake out user is probably the most the lead that makes the most sense and no they're gonna go Raging Bolt instead which I don't I don't mind too much I mean we just gotta go fake out here I'm gonna try to set up a combine they're probably gonna try to set up a combine and I'm gonna fake out the Raging Bolt I'm gonna fake out the Raging Bolt. And my Intimidate does come out here first, so I could Intimidate. I could honestly just Intimidate their Incineroar and get up a Combine. Which actually is in my best interest. It is definitely in my best interest. That's what I'm gonna do, instead of faking out the, the Raging Bolt. I'm gonna go Combine. I think they're gonna go for Combine, which is kinda smart. Go Combine for Combine. I think it's a, that's a smart turn if they do end up doing that. And yeah, okay, calm mind for calm mind. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I am all about it. So from here, we're sitting in this weird position where we both have Incineroar, and I'm just gonna party shot into the Raging Bolt, which honestly, I think they do the same thing. I'm just gonna go for another calm mind boost. I go for another calm mind, just boosting my special defense, special attack. And dude, it's gonna be so funny if we both go for parting shot here, which I think is gonna happen. Double combine. <laughs> this is actually smart of them. This is smart of them to do. He goes for taunt. How dare you? That's fine. I'm parting shotting into your rage bolt. I'm terrestrialized next turn. I'm so terrestrialized next turn. You want to play games? You want to taunt me? That's probably what they wanted to do turn one. So now we're both sitting plus two on special defense and special attack. And I swap my Incineroar, and now's a good time to just go into Fluttermane. And this is really good, because I'm going to Terrastalize my Terrapagos. And I'm going to go for Terra Star Storm. And if they don't Terrastalize the Raging Bolt, it's just going to have to take a Moon Blast super effective. Alright. Let's see how this plays. Let's see how this one plays. I could end up just taunting him if I want to. But I think just attacking is our, it's our time to just attack. Let's do it. Let's go Terra Star Storm here. Let's go Terra Star Storm. So I'm Terrasalizing. Going Stellar Terra type with my Therapagos. And we're ready to rip with this thing. Plus two on special attack. Plus two on special defense. Chances are Incineroar probably just parting shots into me at this point. But I mean, that's fine. He's just going to end up protecting Major Bolt. That's actually smart play. That's actually smart play. You little booger. You little booger. You definitely go for parting shot here. Terra Star Storm gonna fly. How much damage is this doing to Incineroar? Maybe half? Maybe Trigger and Barry? Maybe Trigger and Barry? Let's see. A lot more than half. We like that. But Parting Shot gonna fly here. Another Terra Star Storm looks like it's in the KO. Even after this Barry. That's close. That's close. And he goes for a knockoff. So he's gonna take off my left there. So we're just chilling here on the field. We're gonna go for another Terra Star Storm. And just go for a Moon Blast in this slot. That's fine. So he chooses not to go for the parting shot. I keep thinking he's going to go for the parting shot. And he just doesn't. So if he stays on the field with Incineroar here, Incineroar most likely dies out here. I think this Terra Star Storm does do enough. And Moon is going to fly in this slot, which does a decent amount of damage. Special attack drop? No, we don't get it. We don't get it. Out comes Terra Star Storm. Please finish off the Incineroar. I don't feel like dealing with that on like 1 HP. Cool. So you die out here. Raging Bolt loses a ton of HP here. And let's see what he ends up doing. Thunderbolt, maybe? Another Combine. That, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So I don't have my leftovers anymore. I think a Terra Star Storm and a Moon Blast finishes you off. 
So I'm just gonna spam that, even though I think you're gonna protect here, right? I think we just have to play it safe. I mean, I could double down into whatever Pokemon they throw out here, which might be Rillaboom if they have it. I know, it's gonna be Araquanid. It's an odd little fella. That's an odd little fella, but I think from here it's just simple. Just go Moonblast, go for another Terra Star Storm. We gotta keep the pressure on Rage Bull. Even though I think it's gonna protect, I don't think we should make the hard read here and just not do it because if we don't do it and Rage Bull gets off the turn, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. But again, I do think it's gonna protect here. I'm just playing this smart slash safe. But we're gonna hope that it doesn't, because if it doesn't, we just have the pressure onto it. Moonblast gonna fly, Terra Star Storm. You can't really Terrasize with Terrapagos on the field. Because if not, I'm doing super effective damage onto that. We love it. We love Terrapagos. But now we're sitting plus three special defense, plus three special attack. And we just have good Pokemon out here. He ends up going for, oh, a wide guard, dude. That's big time plays from. Wide guard's big time plays from. Thunderclap's gonna fly in this slot. And we're gonna survive that, which is good news. That's real good news. Moonblast not gonna finish him off. And Terra Star Storm is going to get blocked here. Do we think he goes for another wide guard? That's the real question. That's the real question. Do we think he goes for another wide guard? I could start going for more calm lines now. Could just protect Fluttermane here and just go for an Earth Power. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because if we're going for Thunderclap to finish off my Fluttermane, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see what they do. We end up protecting Fluttermane on the Y Guard. Protect Rage and Bolt. Smart. Smart cookie play. Smart cookie play. Smart cookie play. Earth Power we're gonna fly here. I think they're gonna try to finish off Fluttermane with a Raccoon. And the liquidation flies. So from here, I think we just double. We go Terra Star Storm, Moonblast. No, we can't. We can't. We gotta go Earth Power Moonblast and the Raging Bolt. Earth Power Moonblast gotta be our play. It's gotta be the play. So we're gonna double down the Raging Bolt here. Might go for another wide guard. Let's see. Let's see. Because he could go for Thunderclap. If he goes for Thunderclap. The best play would be him terrestrializing and then going for a thunderclap, and it looks like he's doing that. No shot. No shot. You are. You are. You are going for that. Can Earth Power pick up the KO? I really hope so. I really hope so. Because you're not going for wide guard. You are not going for wide guard. Earth Power, can you just KO? You get the Stellar Terror boost. This is your first time using it. And you do KO. Beautiful. Okay, so that works out perfectly. We get rid of you. But yeah, that was a smart play. That was, that was a good play from our opponent. Really good play from our opponent. So they have Wide Guard ready to go with Iraq win. Uh, They're going to go for Poison Jab, which is no big deal. They kind of just look for Poison here, and they don't get it. So, I mean, we can go into Incineroar, which is definitely our best bet. And they don't have Terrestrialization anymore, which is good news. But I go into Incineroar. I'm going to intimidate these physical attackers. I mean, Groudon's probably clear amulet, but I like to intimidate you. I do like this intimidate. You're not clear amulet. Oh my lord. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's just crazy. Now from here, we can fake out a Raccoonid. We can fake out Groudon. We got to fake out Groudon here, right? And now we can just start, just start spamming Terra Star Storm. Actually, we should just fake out a Raccoonid. I don't feel like dealing with Wide Guard. We're going to fake out a Raccoonid and just go for Terra Star Storm here. I mean, you're both minus one. Raccoon is gonna flinch. We're gonna be able to get off some big time damage. We're still plus two on special attack and plus two special defense. The Terra Star Storm freely fl flying here. It is going to almost get rid of the Raccoon. And Precipice Blade is gonna fly out here. And who dodged that? Trap Ghost? No, Trap Ghost actually took the hit. And that works fine because Incineroar is just chilling here. Um, okay. I think from here we just go for a knockoff. And we go for an Earth Power here because you're probably going for Wide Guard. So I'm just looking to finish you off. Yep, there's Wide Guard. Easy plays. Easy plays for us. That's going. On. This is looking like a 3 0 perfect record. We still have Ogre Pond in the back end, which is great. But we're just reading our opponent at this point. Again, Trap. I don't think Trap Ghost died once today. 
I don't think he died once. That's absurd to say. Three battles, three victories, and Trap Ghost not dying once. Unless you crit me here. You don't crit me, which is awesome. So Trap Ghost not dying once. You do get a crit onto Incineroar, which is funny, though. It's a wrong, wrong Pokemon that you wanted to crit. Wrong Pokemon that you want to crit. But we would have won this game regardless. We still have Grass Guide on our Ogre Pond. Um, they don't have Terra type. And this is a game set match. And honestly, I think I'd rather just go for Ivy Cudgel here. Nah, Grass Guide supply. So I'm going to go Grass Guide. I'm just going to go for a Terra Star Storm. Game is set match. The battle is canceled. We go 3 0 for today's video. I'm telling you guys right now. You see that rental code in the top right hand corner? W O Y S 6 Q. I'm going to read it out for you guys. Rent this team right here. This is probably the best Terrapagos team for ranked regulation G. I just pushed high ranks in three battles. No problem with this team. Didn't even lose Terrapagos once. So if you guys want to push high ranks, try to get into that top 1,000 or maybe even higher, this is the team to grab. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.